I'm going to keep this short and to the point. I want to talk to the content creators that are in the same vein as me. And I'm referring to the ones that, uh, you know, pretty much we kind of all started out around at the same time. I think we were sitting at like three, 400 subscribers and we have seen a lot of people have went different paths. Some people kind of stopped. Some people didn't really increase. And some people really increased and some people had steady increase. I had a steady increase in my channel. I wanted to go the way to go. Um, shout out to like JJ Prime because he really took off and he got, I think he got the thousand way before a lot of us are still, uh, you know, make content. I want to tell people something really quick about making content. Do your own content no matter what. No matter what you do, do your own content. If you are a Transformer collector, you are an expert at this. This is what you know. If you sleep, eat, breathe, and spend your money on these toys, well, you shouldn't. <laughs> you pretty much should know your, your crap. And what I want to tell people is don't be discouraged by growth of other people's channels. I always tell people set a goal and then go for that. So, you know, if a thousand subscribers is your goal, then go for it. If 5,000 is your goal, go for it. If you have a goal, usually you will obtain it. Uh, what a man think of is what a man does, is what I was told. So what you think, it should come to you. I wanted to get to 1,000 subscribers. I was going to get to 1,000 subscribers. I was going to get to it. And no, I didn't cheat. I didn't buy subs. I didn't buy views. But you can, but I'm going to tell you, if you do, YouTube can audit your channel. It's kind of like being audited by the IRS. And they can tell by looking at those graphs and charts where your, your views are coming from and how they are coming. For many of us, our views are going to come from non-subscribed people. And the idea is to get people to uh, come to the channel and retain themselves to the channel. Hardly enough people retain themselves based on what they see as far as, you know, oh, this person's got a lot of subscribers, so maybe I'll subscribe. That's tricky. But you also have to hone your content. You got to look at your content. You got to be able to say, okay, hold on, this isn't working. Let me try something different. Maybe. But at the same time, you have to work on your visuals. You have to work on your audio. You have to invest in your channel. I mean, if you're still shooting and it sounds like you're in a paper bag or it sounds like you're shooting and you're still shooting out a potato or you have the non-paid version of an editing program, you're not putting enough into your channel and it's going to show. You know, the fruits of your labor are based on how much effort and time you put into it. And you do have to put in time. You know, you're going to need some type of camera. You know, iPhone is great and Samsung's are great. But you're talking about millimeter sensors. You might want to look at going into maybe a point and shoot with a Sony or a Canon. As far as audio, you need some type of mic. You also need a program that can adjust your audio too. So that's very important. You also have to learn how to color grade because sometimes what we see on that little screen may not come out the way we want it. And that's the work I put into my videos in like staging and simply investing in a light box and not a cheap one. If you're dealing with transformers, you know that the height of transformers can go as high as two feet. Uh, luckily, uh, my friend who does audio visual work, who really is you know, I've always been helping me with my videos. It was like, look, you know, buy yourself a light box. And I had a little cheap one. And if you watch a lot of my old videos from, you know, when I really first came on the scene to burst, it just wasn't working. So now, you know, I bought a light box that's about, you know, two feet by two feet. It was on sale for Amazon. I don't even know the name of it. It was like on sale, deep sale, like 40 bucks. I it usually sells for like 80. It has adjustable light, coolness, warmth, and that's very good for toy production. But you have to understand analytics, you're not going to make any money on YouTube when you come out the gate, unless you're just doing incredible views. You got to do at least 10 to 20,000 to really see some sizable money. Other than that, let me tell you now, you are making pennies and you have to pump out content. You know, uh, going live, like, yeah, when you hit a thousand, you can just go live from your phone. But before that, you can't. So, like, you're kind of stuck either going live from your house or just, you know, 
pre-recording the video and then, you know, editing it and putting it online. For me, premieres don't work. It's proven with my blaster video. <laughs> I could have done better if I just posted. So I'm going back to just posting videos at a certain time. Um, but you have to edit. You got to. It's so much that you have to do with your channel. And no one can tell you how to do your channel with you. No, uh, no one can. That's like no one can teach you business. No one can teach you how to create a niche. It's just something you have to know. You just have to understand that. You know, if you really want this, you can't get frustrated. You're gonna have to work at it, and it's tough, man. Like the money is just not there. <laughs> it ain't even close. I got you. Got to hit a hundred dollars just to hit a payout. So if you're getting pennies for views, that means you get one cent for. It's like to make thirty something cent, you got to do a few hundred views on your video. I'm serious. It's 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 laughable. It's not even worth it. And then on top of that, you know, I can only buy but so many toys. It's a lot that you gotta factor in. But don't the biggest thing, challenge thing I want to say to people is don't be discouraged. If you really want to get this done, learn. That's all I can say. I can't teach you anything. Especially me. I'm only a thousand 80. There's nothing I can teach you. I'm struggling. It's just that for me, I was, you know, like I said, I just maybe got lucky or people like my videos. I, that's all I can tell you. And I have a lot of people ask me that. Yes, I do stuff off the cuff. There's no script. We just jump right into it. I should know this stuff. I collect transformers. I should know it. I'm an expert. So I shouldn't have to. I don't need a script. I should just look at this toy. Man, I know what this is. It's prime. Just make it strong. This star screen you know this star screen that star screen whichever version and believe me i've owned it i've you know i just you know it just trust me when i say this if you're looking at me as a litmus test do not because i am i could fall off the wayside like anyone i'm a regular person that just happens to shoot videos i just have a certain thing that i'm looking for when i shoot my videos so just keep that in mind when you're shooting these videos and making your content is to have and continue to make content and improve your content. The biggest thing I will tell you before I end this video is invest in your channel. If you're not willing to invest in your channel, you're not going to get growth. That's the best advice I can give you. Hope this video gets past censors. Until then, peace.